To measure squareness and parallelism with an autocollimator, we use an optical square or pentagonal prism. This will bend the light through 90 degrees within one second. As long as the front face of the pentagonal prism is square to the autocollimator, the line of sight or beam will be bent by 90 degrees. If things are not lined up square, i.e. the prism face is tilted forward, we can get an error in the 90 degree. To make a squareness or parallelism measurement, first of all we must move into the Taylor Hobson analysis software. From this we select straightness measurement and measure. We then will store this straightness measurement result as line number one. Now we must insert the optical square and bend the light through 90 degrees. It is hugely important that the autocollimator is not moved when we measure the second slide weight, as this must act as a datum. Also, if you are using fence pins on both sides of the mirror base, then both sets of pins should be parallel to each other. Here, the ultra autocollimator sighting aid becomes very useful. So assuming we have measured the first slide way, line 1. Next we use the sighting aid to align the mirror on line 2. We need to see that we have a signal along the entire slide way, number 2. The optical square can be tilted by hand using bits of, say, paper or connected to a tilting table, like the one shown here. Or even shims. We now need to square up the optical square front face to the autocollimator. I would block the main mirror on line 2 for this. We may need to make a little tweak to get rid of some of these secondary ghost images as they may affect the autocollimator detector. We can take these visual images off the autocollimator screen by simply twisting the optical square. Remember, twisting the optical square does not affect the 90 degrees. So to make a squareness measurement or parallelism measurement now, you use one of the green icons. For now you would input the two measured lines, line 1 and line 2. Remember to be careful and get the signs, positive and negative, correct for each of the lines. In essence, we are using the slope values given to us in the straightness results to determine the squareness or parallelism. If the autocollimator is not touched during the measurement, if everything is perfectly square or perfectly parallel, the slope value should be the same. Any difference is the out of squareness. So for some rough calculations, one arc second is approximately equal to 5 microns per meter. So if line 1 was 5 microns per meter and line 2 15 microns per meter, then the difference would be 10 microns per meter, which is 2 seconds. But be careful to get your signs correct. The optical square can be used in different orientations, for example measuring columns or indeed measuring the parallelism of rails. Importantly, this only gives the out of squareness or out of parallelism in one axis. If required in the second axis, perhaps a tally on an electronic level could be used. So the new icon driven software and the ultra autocollimator sighting aid makes this job much easier. There is also even an option in the software to error correct for the optical squares one second error to give an even higher accuracy result. For more information on this or other products, please go on to the Spectrometrology website. Thank you very much.